I came here with the intentions of showing you guys what sold and I literally packaged it all up so quickly that I forgot to film. So I'm just gonna run you through what's in these packages. I'm holding it on the opposite side of the label so we do not show anyone's address. That is one of my pet peeves. Reselling friends, can we not show people's personal addresses when we're doing like um, photos or videos of what's sold? I I just think of myself as a buyer when I buy things from sellers and I'm like, I would hate to have my, just like, I just watched a video, no names need to be said, where she was going through what sold, very helpful, and the address was just like right here. The person's home address was just right here. And this video had thousands of views. And I don't know, I think it's because I have had my identity stolen that I am so sensitive about this stuff. So literally had my life in shambles for almost a year, had to go through federal court. It was a mess, you guys. The person went to prison for a couple of years. So please, let's just keep everybody's business private. Rant over. This is a Wacol bra. This was new without the tags. I got this in a Nordstrom palette. I will put the uh, listing on the screen. I can't remember what it sold for. It was like 20, 30 bucks. And every item in that palette cost me $6. In this box, we have a White House black market jacket. This was very cute. I thought of keeping it, but it was a little too big for me. It's a size extra large. I actually thought this would sell for more. Uh, but I don't even remember sending out an offer. I sent out an offer and this sold and I made $20. I think it sold for 20. I did, did I film when I picked this up? I know I did not pay more than $5 for this item, but, uh, I just listed this less than a month ago. I feel like maybe I could have gotten more if I waited. I don't remember sending that offer. Maybe Posh or VA sent it for me, so uh, I don't know. But it sold in less than a month, and I made a small profit. This is an eBay sale. These are Manolo Blahniks. I'll put them on the screen. They sold for $100. I listed these three months ago. I paid $20 for them from a local consignment store here in Los Angeles, and I ran out of eBay boxes, which is very unlike me to run out of shipping supplies. I usually stay really stocked, you guys, but I've just been listing a lot and stuff has been selling pretty quickly so I'm actually running low so I just used a Walmart box I picked these up from Walmart I paid less than a dollar for them and then I have them delivered because of my Amex I get what is it called Walmart plus I get a it's one of the perks of my Amex is that I get Walmart plus for free so they actually I ordered this Monday morning it was delivered to my door Monday evening so and and it was free shipping and I don't pay for the membership because it's a perk there's a lot of perks to having certain cards, you guys. I thought about doing a video on it, but then I was like, you know, I'm not a finance channel, but I do get certain perks for using um, different cards for my business. So, little pro tip. And even if you don't have an Amex, you guys, I've found Walmart, like if you're in a pinch and you need something quickly, if you have to go into a store, I found Walmart boxes to be more affordable than Target. Definitely don't go to like Staples or FedEx unless you really need like a specific size or like U-Haul. This was less than a dollar. And lastly, these are all sales that have happened since midnight of last night. These are all overnight sales, you guys. Um, this is a maternity bra. I have been selling maternity like crazy. I posted about this on my Instagram. If you're not following me there, I will leave a link to it down below. I post on there daily, but I have been selling a ton of maternity stuff. Um, because it's so expensive, you guys. As someone who's been pregnant multiple times, I can tell you, buying that stuff new retail is expensive. This is a Skims maternity bra. I can't remember what it sold for. I know I like tripled my money on this, doubled. I, I, I'll, put, I'll put the listings on the screen because I just, I literally packaged them so fast. I wanted to show you me packaging them, but I'm in a hurry because I have a real estate meeting, so. That's the sales. Let's go drop these at the post office. So my process is, I think I've told you guys this, but we have a lot of new people. Um, my storage unit and my post office are within like a two mile radius of each other. So I will actually print the labels at home, bring them to storage. I have a ton of shipping supplies here in storage, package them up, and then I drop them at the post office. Um, and I am totally happy with that. One time in my whole reselling career before Zane was born, I had all of my inventory in his nursery. And I will say it was really convenient to have everything in one spot, but I did not like having 
all of this in our house. <laughs> I know some of you probably, you know, you have huge houses, you have basements, and you love having your inventory, but I live in a major city. We had a three bedroom apartment and it was very big, very big apartment, like 1500 square feet, which I don't think I realized how big that was until I was like talking to people that were like, my house is 1400 square feet. So big apartment, but it just felt overwhelming to have all of this stuff in an apartment, in a room in an apartment. So I don't know, I'm probably one of those <laughs> rare few uh, resellers that actually enjoys having the inventory outside of the home. I love it, you guys. I don't want all this stuff in our house. Now, maybe when we get a house, we are looking to get a house soon. Maybe I'll change my mind about that. But I don't know. It's a lot of stuff, you guys. And I'm not even showing you the disaster behind me. It's a lot. So let's go to the post office. This has worked for me for years. I've literally been doing this process for, for almost four years. And it's worked. And then that like six months in between, I had it in the house. And then before that, I had it in storage units since I've started. So literally, I've been doing this process for over a decade. I literally only had the stuff in our apartment for six months. And then, you know, we had to turn it into a nursery. So this has always worked for me. And for now, I enjoy it. I'll let you know if things change. All right, friends, this video is kind of all over the place, but I thought I would include everything. It's like a hodgepodge of everything. Um, if you are new, I've been addicted to buying these Goodwill Outlet mystery bags. This is a jeans only bag and it was $20 for the whole thing. And per usual, this weighs I weighed it, it was like 9.2 pounds or something. So, so far I've been pretty happy with these. The last one was probably my least favorite and I already see, oh, I thought these were new with tags. It is um, the Goodwill tags. Um, a lot of the stuff from the very first mystery bag that I've done, the unboxing has already sold. So I love these. It's like one of the most affordable ways for me to get inventory. This one, Levi's 535 Super Skinny. <laughs> The store had this priced at $14.99, you guys. They're white. They do have some stains at the bottom, but they don't look like anything I can't get out. Wow. Okay, I will be listing those. I'm gonna stain treat those, and then I will list them myself. A lot of you have been asking how I stain treat, you guys. I used this spray once. Some reseller recommended to me like a million years ago. I will leave a link to it down below. I am not like an expert stain treater. I spray that spray, I rub it in, or I use a brush, and I wash it. If it doesn't come out, you, unless it's a super valuable piece, I don't like try baking soda, dish soap. I usually, I, I don't know, you guys, <laughs> I'm trying to say this without sounding like a snob, but I don't put a lot of time into stain treating. So I use the spray, which I will leave a link to in the description box. If it doesn't work and, I, and I've washed it, usually I, if it's very valuable, I take it to my cleaner and he'll do it. Um, he's a cleaner. He does dry cleaning. He does deep cleaning. He does alterations. He's amazing. I've been using him for years. Um, and then he usually gets it out. But like, I don't, I have so many of my friends are like, oh, use baking soda and mix toothpaste and then add some vinegar. I'm like, nope, I'm not doing all that. <laughs> okay, Gap 28 Slim Khakis. What Goodwill did this come from? These were marked at $14.99. I don't know what Goodwill this came from, you guys, because um, at a lot of the local Goodwills I go to, the pants, like a pair like gap pants are I think like eight dollars nine dollars so I see why those ended up at the Goodwill outlet wow okay um I did talk to the manager at the Goodwill outlet and she told me there's a guy who makes these bags um he's an employee and he actually makes the bags and he brings them every morning so I don't know where he's making them because she made it seem like he drops them off or something, so I don't know. Calvin Klein, these are 36. I think these are men's. Are they 100% cotton? They're the relaxed straight jean. They're a little bit worn and they have kind of a smell. I don't think I've ever sold Calvin Klein jeans. I used to do really well selling Calvin Klein workwear pre-Rona, so I'll have to look those up. But so far, three for three. I mean, if I can even make 10 to 15 bucks on those, I'll sell them. 
I am not above a $10 profit. Joe's Jeans, um, very expensive denim brand. This one is a size 32, 98% cotton, and it's called the Rebel. So far, four for four. These are, I mean, they have a little bit of signs of wear, but there's no stains. It doesn't even smell weird. This is so much better than the last one, you guys. I'm so excited. Please let the rest of this be like this. What is this? Oh, I can't, I can't even read this brand tag. I don't even know what this brand says. It's extra small. Looks like it was priced for $8.99 at Goodwill. I think it's called D Dr. Digo. Dr. Digo Rain. Let me show you the tag up close. So it's purple. I don't know what that says, you guys. I will have to look it up. There's some staining. Um, they're like a jagging. I have no idea. I've never seen that label. I don't even know really what that says. So I will look that up. We have some more Levi's. Last time you guys were like, you didn't say what kind of Levi's they were. These are Levi's 511 Slim, size 12. Are these 12 juniors or kids? Yeah, this is like 12 kids. Um, pretty good condition. Gusset looks good. I will list those. Nice. I think I'll list those. I might take those to a consignment shop. You guys know I don't sell a lot of children's clothing. Wax jean. Oh, God. It's a size 125. They're like a jegging. Super affordable. Um, they had these priced at $8.99. I might take those to Crossroads. Or I'm, if they don't take them, I might donate them. Um, Denizen? Denizen? From Levi's. This is the Ankle Rise. High rise ankle jegging. I think this is another like teen situation. Yeah, these are like little girls or big girls. You guys know I know nothing about children's clothing. So I'll look that up. If they're worth selling, I will. If not, I will probably do consignment. Gap for good. This is the 26 regular true skinny jean. All of these look like they came from the retail store because they have the retail store tag. They didn't sell, so they went to the Goodwill outlet. These are in good condition. I will probably sell those myself. So far, this is looking so much better than the last unboxing. I'm so addicted to buying these bags, you guys. It's just so affordable per piece. And now we have a dud. Democracy. Although, I don't know, with the embroidery on the back, maybe this could be okay. These are Capri. They're a size 4. They're really stretchy. So far, a lot of these have been in way better condition than the jeans in the last bag. More Levi's? No, this is Superior Authority? No, Member's Mark. Member's Mark. Why do I feel like that's like a Costco thing or something? <laughs> member's Mark. I believe these are men's jeans. Should have brought my phone. Oh, you know what? I have my laptop right here. Made in Mexico. Yeah, these are men's. They're a size 40, 30. Members mark jeans. Yeah, I knew it. I was like, these look like a like Costco. They're sold at Sam's Club. Um, looks like I think Sam's Club. Yeah. Sam's Club, Sam's Club. And these retail for $15. So I don't know what I'm going to do with those. Not sure. Either those are a donate or consignment, but I don't even know if consignment will take them. This is Divine Denim by Isaac Mizrahi. And this is a size 10. Um, really nice, stretchy, thick jegging. A little bit faded. Some signs of wear. I don't know. That one I will have to research. Let me know if you guys haven't. Let me know in the comments if you have experience selling any of this. Lucky brand, size 34, distressed jeans, really good condition. These are the classic fit short length. I love that Lucky, these look like they could just use a wash and they'll be good. I love that Lucky puts in the tag the name of the style because it makes it so easy to look up the item. Refuge or Refugee really like cheapy bp brand these look like they have been tore up from the floor up as they say i will probably just donate those i don't even think a consignment store would take those from me what is this 
member's mark. Oh no, Sam's Club. Get out of here, Sam's Club. That's part of the reason these bags are so heavy, you guys. I don't think I realize how heavy men's jeans are. Like some of the men's jeans I pick up, I'm like, dang, this weighs two pounds by itself. Hollister, size 33, 32. Does it have the style name anywhere? Uh, a lot of these are kind of dated styles with the distressing, skinny, like, oh, it's called the Skinny Hollister Epic Flex. Mm. That might be a good piece to take to a consignment store. Oh, this smells like cigarette smoke. I'm always scared pulling stuff out of these bags because I'm like, is a bug going to jump out at me? These are size 36.29. Hager? Is it Hager? Hager? H-A-G-G-A-R. These, oh no, these smell so bad, you guys. Those are going... I don't even know if I should donate those. I don't even want to describe the smell, but they don't smell good. I'm surprised everything else didn't smell like that. 32 cool, size extra large. It's new with the tags. Oh, these are women's. I thought they were men's. Um, elastic waistband. It's got the drawstring. Uh, and the color sage. Nice. I will sell these myself. Very nice. We're already over 20 items, you guys. Remember, this whole bag cost me $20. This bag has way more stuff than the last one. The last one had a ton of men's stuff. And um, it was it just, like, one jean took up a lot of space. Okay, I think this is men's, too. Nautica. Jeez, I haven't sold this brand in years. Size 35, 34. These are not in the best shape. I don't know if it's coming across on camera. Uh, does it have a style name? Mm, nope. 99% cotton. Oh, they're the straight fit, straight fit stretch. I I don't know. I literally haven't sold Nautica in like eight years. I'll have to look that up. Um, boot cut. Gap boot cut. This is from the Gap outlet store. Size 18, 98% cotton. Uh, oh, they have a small hole in the back, and I'm pretty sure that hole is not supposed to be there because there are no other holes anywhere else. So I don't know because of that hole if these are worth selling. Otherwise, it's in great condition. I sell flawed items all the time. If you are new around here, I have no problem selling flawed items. I will just um, highlight it in the listing. I put it in the description, and then I will also like circle it once I'm editing the photo, I don't really edit my photos, but if there's a flaw, I will use my editor and circle the flaw. So I'll look up if those are even worth doing that. They may not be worth it. Mm -hmm. Topshop. I don't like selling Topshop, you guys. US size four. I get a lot of Topshop. Well, I did when I bought my palettes, excuse me, and it was all new with tags and none of it sells. I don't know. It's just so flooded in the market. It just sits and sits for me. If you have luck selling Topshop, let us know in the comments down below. I don't. New with tags, pre-owned. I just don't pick it up. Men's items, women I women's items. I think one item I sold from Topshop within the last two years was a maternity piece. Other than that, I just don't have the best luck. I don't know why. Um, US size 4. Cute little like um, capri pants though. Looks like they were at the retail store for $6.99. I guess maybe I could keep these might be something cute like casual to wear i guess i could keep those because i'm not gonna sell them all right that was a great deal you guys that was way better way better than the last bag if you haven't seen these unboxings i will link them down below let me know if you guys want to keep seeing them i don't know if this is getting boring for you guys but i don't think i'll do them as standalone videos i'll just include them in like videos like this where it's just everything like going to the storage unit what's sold and chats and things but I'm gonna keep buying them I love it even if I just get like six or seven jeans um that I'm gonna list I just need one to sell to cover the whole bag and then everything else is profit there is quite a bit of stuff sometimes that I do feel bad that I'm like well I just gotta redonate this but for this one I think there's only two that I'm gonna donate back but then um, the other ones, I'm looking at like maybe five, I'm gonna take to Crossroads and hopefully they take it. And if they don't take it, then maybe I'll send it to ThreadUp, but ThreadUp doesn't take men's. But there's quite a bit in this bag that I'm gonna list. So I'm gonna keep buying these, you guys.
it's just such a good bang for your buck when you live in a major city where the thrift store prices are absolutely ridiculous so yeah i'm excited about that um i know this video is all over the place let me know if you like this this is not the end of the video you guys i don't think it is but let me know if you like this format a video where it's just like everything in one super long video it could be like a work with me like I feel like these are the types of videos reselling videos I like to watch because I put them on while I'm working while I'm listing um, while I'm working on real estate so let me know if you like it and I guess I could give you oh here's a rag and bone is this cashmere or wool this is a rag and bone hat it's 89% wool, 9% nylon, 2% spandex. This is new without the tags. It was under... <laughs> this is so soft. I thought it had cashmere. This was under the um, the bag. That bag was heavy, you guys. I love going to the Goodwill outlet to get inventory, but also to buy All right, bags. friends, as if this video wasn't long enough, I thought we could go thrifting. On this day, I went to Savers. I will admit... I don't go to Savers as much as I go to local mom and pop thrift stores and Goodwill. This Vince Camuto sweater was cute, but for $10.49 and it had a lot of pilling, don't worry, I did go back and fix it on the hanger. It's just hard to do that, you guys, one-handed when you're filming. So I'll film and then I'll stop filming, go back and fix things that I've messed up. Um, you can see like their standard pricing here for sweaters, for tops. It seems like it starts at $10 and then just goes up from there. Um, it was very busy on this day and they have Shein or Sheen, whatever, at 11 bucks. You guys always make fun of me because I, I don't know. I've heard people say it both ways. Um, it's just this, it's not all savers, but this one is just very pricey. This one and then the one I went to in Scottsdale or Phoenix, uh, I filmed there multiple times, but I don't know. These two savers for some reason, this Liz Claiborne, I have never found anything new with tags from Liz Claiborne. This was $9.49. It stood out to me because I just, I've never found anything new with tags. Uh, very cute. I would have picked this up probably for five bucks. You can see it retail for 44. I just think the style was nice um, and it was soft and it's the kind of sweater that you could wear into spring. Um, this must have been from the same person or maybe a store, size 44. A lot of my thrift stores um, where I live, you guys, get direct donations directly from stores. So usually when I see like a big group of things new with tags from the same store, that's what's going on. White House Black Market, I don't find this new with tags very often. This retailed for one something, 120. They had this at $40, you guys. $40. So I will pick that up when it is marked all the way down. Um, I like the sparkles. I like the cut in the back, but for $40, I mean, I don't even know personally if I would have wanted to pay that much at a thrift store. I don't know. I don't wear a ton of White House Black Market. I guess if you're a huge fan, maybe that's a deal. I don't know. That just seemed high to me. Ann Taylor for $15. What are we doing, savers? Why? This isn't even new, and it had a stain. So, needless to say, friends, I don't come here very <laughs> I don't come to this location very often. Um, I did film here before and I scored a couple things. You can see my cart is completely empty because I just kept striking out for the pricing. Um, if you're buying for yourself, I guess this pricing is okay. Still seems a little high. I'd prefer other thrift store pricing. 15 bucks for this cashmere blend. And it's, I mean, it had merino wool, cashmere, but it had holes too. I don't know, whoever's pricing, are they looking at, oh, man down, are they looking at the condition of things? I did go back and fix it, don't worry. They had this Pioneer Woman sweater for $13.40. I did not know she made clothing. You know the lady with the cooking show that I love? Um, I feel like she's kind of replaced Paula Deen, you know? Not the healthiest, not as unhealthy as Paula Deen, but... Uh, good hearty food. Anyways, love the show. Just didn't know she made clothing. Uh, cute sweater. I checked comps. Not that great. I don't know where they sell this. If you guys know, is it like a Walmart thing? Um, cute sweater. I just didn't know she made clothing. So I didn't pick up anything, friends. Hopefully you enjoyed this style of video. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you like the longer form videos where I just show you snippets of the reselling days? Let me know. If so, I will keep doing them and don't forget to subscribe.